Chinga la kaching. Boma la kaboom. Boma la kaboom. Chinga la kaching. Chinga la kaching. Boma la kaboom. Boma la kaboom. Chinga la kaching. Chinga la kachinga la kaching ching ching. Boma la kaboom la kaboom boom boom. Boom la kaboom la kaboom boom boom. Chinga la kaching la kaching ching ching. Ah, you are getting me. All humans are healers. We are not created uh, to be violent and to create distractions. That our traditions as African people indicate very clearly that we've always been able to support ourselves in moments of difficulty for us to heal. And that how can this process of adapting this curriculum speak to the healer within us? How can we activate the healer in each and every individual in a BAE? And that's why you've seen a lot of storytelling and singing and discussions and group tasks here. And we shall be taking the stories and the images. And those stories and the images as a methodology help us to heal and to break the cycles of violence. And so the adaptation entails translating the concepts into first their mother tongue, Dinga, next to Arabic, where of course most of the people they are going to use, who are going to use the material, will either speak Dinka or Arabic. So it's about understanding, uh, giving the meaning, uh, when you talk about trauma, when you talk about forgiveness, when you talk about reconciliation, what does it mean according to their tradition, according to their culture? How are they going to create space? And we do it practically by then. You realize we've been sitting in circles. That is what we call a safe space. How are they going to create space? How will they hold the space? And how will they transform the space? Yeah, it is important to connect the material in the context of a BA. It is just because, like especially the paintings, let me talk about the paintings, like if you paint the issues there in a BA, the people will know. And then they will also see themselves in the pictures. Yeah, they will see themselves in the pictures and all the stories that are there, anyone can understand it easily. That is why it is good to connect it uh, with the context of a BA because it, is ref it reflects like the culture in a BA and it is very unique a little bit and the situation in ABA is also somehow unique with other situations. In fact, uh, art, visual art in, 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 in different forms uh, is a very strong uh, tool of, of communication. So when we, we use uh, art or drawings or painting to communicate with people. Uh, this means we are very sure that the message will successfully flow and reach. This program will not only benefit ABA. This is a program that I see the vibrations going throughout South Sudan. The reason being when you have a people who aspire to leave an important legacy for the next generation. I see this adaptation process contributing significantly to those conversations. And I believe on a personal note that maybe it will not happen during my lifetime, but I do know they are coming. We are setting the foundation. We are like that uh, woman who who plants a tree, a mango tree, knowing very well that she will never be alive to eat from the fruits of that tree. Does she stop planting it? No, she plants it because she believes that another generation will sit under its shade, will enjoy those fruits. That's what we are doing. Bye, 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 bye,
abye panda e panyi chantin onter chobo ka wacha pa abye panda e panyi chantin ukwale den harud gam panda abye panda e panyi chantin kanda lawo mogi chintin in wonna walan chonga gi jam jam de qur'ana banyi ane wona abye onti dem wai banne kanda lawo mogi chintin in wonna walan chonga gi jam jam de qur'ana banyi ane mena abye onti dem banne what is happening is very tremendous first of all we have like 10 uh, days training is divided in two phases first one is uh, taking people through trauma and then the component actually of trauma is definition the types and also we saw the whole cycle like uh, looking into trauma awareness is definition is types and within that one we have component like Uh, knowing our identity relationship security and safety and then healing and transformation and also this were the packages that we we, we gave which is a complete package uh, of the trauma strategy my first observation was the training the material the training material themselves are uh, contextual they, they they appeal to the situation of south sudan and uh, the pictures that are attached to to, to the writings uh, speak volume about the situation and it actually appeal uh, to the life and histories that are happening currently in south sudan that's why it catch it catches the, the, the the attention of the participant and um, it it really helpful when when i when when i read them first it touched me and it tells me it gives my mind a lot of stories that are happening but when i actually entered into teaching trying to facilitate i could also see from the, the response uh, that participant were giving And, uh, and even the recommendation that they are giving now they are they are more helpful well it, it is really very very helpful uh, one of the classes as you said i was there and there was this story of uh, a commander who is uh, called deng and a young man uh, a boy called mayom and his mother a book and when the story was unfolding one of the ladies cried she said this is exactly my story the story of uh, pastor he he she replaced pastor garan with the he, he would her pastor in abia who is called uh, pastor biom and then she as the mother and even her husband is a commander and he's actually called deng and then her son is not my own but uh, she put that she put herself in that story and she cried very deeply she wept that now her son after uh, leaving abia where she and the past and pastor biom were taking care of him he now went to the university and he changed the behavior and so she was so touched by the story <laughs> I'm happy because I was not knowing this NGO is working. But this is my first time to hear it and there's benefit on in this uh, this NGO Green Street Network. I appreciate you for what you did. So we are people of Abia. As I'm a youth leader, I'm so happy. And also I'm happy for the teachers that you brought for us for the struggling that you struggle for we to get the what is called tour and I, i appreciate you really for you to keep it on doing this thing for others country not abia for all south sudan you let them know what is called trauma and and for how to heal others <laughs>